Okay. Here we are at a restaurant, which is called Gian Marcos. It's in a town that's like two hours from our house. And I'm just videoing everyone here who is having a happy birthday celebration for my husband. I'm so glad, and I'm the one that is going to be paying the tab. I have scripted and saved for many, many months so that I can pay for everyone's appetizer, their salad, their main entree, their pasta, their dessert, their wine, and everything else they, they want. Right down here is Gretchen. Gretchen has been really, really good, so I have to admire her for being under the table and being good like she's supposed to. I brought some food for her, but she hasn't eaten it. But anyway, um, I called ahead of time to tell the guy that I'm blind. I'm the one with the credit card. So, if he wants to find me, and I'm the one that's paying for it, then he will have to find me. What do you want for dessert, baby? I want the chocolate torts. Chocolate torts. Yeah. I'm pointing at my mama over there. Um, Gretchen's, Gretchen's having the peanut butter mousse, but you don't have it, so we're not. Gonna, we're not gonna tell her. Tomorrow's her birthday. Oh really? Yes, yeah, she's four. She'll be four years old. So if you have a birthday cake with a four, you know. A good girl. Only yeah. if it's chicken or lamb. Yeah, she's good. I'm just videoing Gretchen, and she's, she's never out from under the table. She is supposed to be under the table. That's where she goes. But tomorrow is her, truly her birthday. And as you can tell, we're all having a great fun here. And Gretchen does not get any peanut butter mousse, I promise you. Tomorrow, she might get a peanut butter cupcake, which is nothing but peanut butter, period. It doesn't have any additives or preservatives or anything like that. I might grind it up. I think I'm going to try a recipe with some ground up chicken with peanut butter and see how she likes that. But if she doesn't like it, so be it. That will be her birthday present. Look at her looking at me. Come here, Gretchen. Come here. She is such a pretty girl. And she's been under the table all night long. We've been here for about three hours now. So I just wanted to show you. This is my husband, Jerry's birthday. And there are two tables. There are 14 people. And I just wanted to show you how fun it is to be out and about with Gretchen, with everybody else in my family, and having a great, great time. This is like two and a half hours from our house, so it's not like we, you know, just went down the street. We made reservations three months ago. This is a very, very fine Italian restaurant. Um, you do have to have reservations, and I made the reservations for my husband about, like I said, three three months ago. We came in about a month ago and ate lunch, and it was awesome. Uh, but it's a good two hours from our house. So I just wanted to let everybody know that just because you are blind, just because you can't see, doesn't mean that you can't have an absolutely wonderful time with friends and a family and tell people that you are around your server your host anyone that's around that you're blind and they'll make any accommodations that you need so please don't be afraid to do that actually it makes their night much much more memorable 
Um, they remember the night that the blind lady came with her seeing eye dog and 14 people. So, you know, that, that in and of itself will, will let you know that it's just a fun, fun time. So, until I talk to you next time, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful night as I'm focusing in on Gretchen as she's laying down under the table. And I'll talk to you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.